They just always make a point to talk about how lucky they are to have all of us and how grateful they are. So, I don't know, that's important to me too, I guess, because I see their example. My grandparents are just cool, because no matter what they do, they're always together. They were in a botany class or a biology class at the U when they first met. They were both going to the University of Utah. My mom went to East, my dad went to West. We had a, a joint class at the University of Utah. She was a very attractive woman, I want you to know that. <laughs> and, and as a male, well, I, I find attractive women very attractive. Even now, even though there's snow on the roof and bare spots, there's still some fire in the furnace. Very handsome, gorgeous curly hair and brown eyes. What is the secret to your 70-year marriage? He's a gentleman. <laughs> He's not a wolf. A wonderful woman. I might say that uh, even though we were separated a good deal of the time in the Army. He was fighting the Korean War, the tail end of World War II. We always uh, felt the love that we shared. Be respectful one to another. Recognize that each individual has its rights and that one party cannot be superior over the other party. It has to be a cooperative effort. Back in 2012, uh, Grandma started having these little many stroke type things and uh, one day it, there was one that's just a little bit bigger than the rest that took her speech away from her for a while. He has taken over so many of the things that I used to do that uh, I'm amazed at what he does. Um, and in the time since then he's always been there to make sure that she's just being cared for like a sweet old man does. Well, she's always there. She, she wakes me up in the morning. She says, it's time to get ready for you coming down here. <laughs> and I watch my grandparents, and everything my grandfather does is for my grandmother and all of his family. And they get joy out of that. They're committed to each other. They're committed to marriage. They're committed to the gospel. And. Uh, I can't even comprehend them ever giving up on each other.